Don here in Mr. Spa in Arizona. Today I'll be going over some basic spa water chemistry. The first thing we want to do is to heat up the water. Cool water chemistry can vary from warmer water chemistry, so we want to make sure we're up to normal operating temperature, about 100 plus degrees. Second, we're going to want to get a test strip. Simply take the test strip, dip it into the water for about two seconds, give it a shake, and then match it up to the panel. Your panels will vary depending on the type of test strips that you have. Things I'm going to be talking about today are alkalinity, pH, and calcium. The first thing we want to test for is alkalinity. Your alkalinity can directly affect your water's ability to change pH, so that's why we want to start there first. We want your alkalinity to be about 80 to 120. You can adjust that using an alkaline up or down product. Once we've done that, we can move on to pH. Your pH should be from 7.2 to about 7.8. If your pH is too low, it becomes acidic and it's corrosive. It can damage your pumps, your heater, and your components. If it's too high, it's basic and caustic. That can cause odors, cloudiness, and smells from your water. You can adjust this using a pH up or a pH down product. Finally, we want to look at the calcium content. We want to make sure that's about 80 to 250 for an acrylic spa. Remember, you can purchase any of these at our Mr. Spa location at Bell and I-17 or any of our other Arizona Mr. Spa stores. You can also bring in a sample of your water and we'll test it for you for free. Visit us online at mrspaaz.com. I'm Don and thanks for watching.